Hey Broncos, in this video we're going to talk about how to access e-magazines from Flipster at home. First of all though, I would point out the distance learning information here on the website. Uh, you can email us anytime. Easiest way to email us might be clicking this button. It will automatically create a Gmail to both Mr. Russell and myself. So if we're looking at reading a magazine from home, we hover over read because we want to read a magazine. Then go down here. Uh, read a magazine. When you click on that, the first time it's going to ask you to log in or, or every time. Now we're working on getting sign in with Google uh, to start working from home, but right now you do need a username and password. And the same username and password will work for the whole school. You see our username there. I can't show you the password on the video because I'm going to put this onto YouTube, but remember all of our usernames and passwords for all of our products are here under Web Passport. If you click on that, you have to type in a password. Hopefully you know it. If you don't, email us and we can tell you or ask a friend. Uh, but that works for all of our databases and other resources. Um, again, once you type in that username and password, you will get into Flipster Magazine. We have 12 to 15 different magazines you can click through. Um, we've added a few new ones from last year. So I would strongly encourage you to look through these, especially now with so much news going on, or if you just want to read something fun and not have to think about much. So maybe go back in Sports Illustrated uh, and not only look at the current issue, uh, but you can look back at all issues uh, going back to 2015. So even looking at the issues covering the Royals World Series. Once you find a magazine, you click on the cover uh, and then it downloads uh, or is accessible through that tab and it stays there, which is nice. Uh, it's easy to flip through. This is a great reading experience on your Chromebook as well or your phone or other tablet that you might have. You can also scan through all pages, which is nice, especially in some magazines with lots of ads. You can kind of skip those. Again, you can see back issues uh, and see the contents for this issue. Like I said, dating back to 2015, so that's convenient. You can also search within the magazine just this issue or all issues. Uh, let's say if you have an assignment for class and you want to search for certain keywords, so that helps out as well. Uh, you can save uh, or print certain pages and then save that to Google Drive, so maybe you need to upload something to Schoology or share it with a teacher, and that's probably your best bet is to act like you're printing it, but when you print it, really save it uh, to Google Drive. Now, I'll create another video for PE classes because you guys have some special requirements, but this is just a general one showing how to access Flipster and use it again from the library homepage underneath Read, uh, Read a Magazine Flipster. All right, have a great day, Broncos.